If we can get clear on what our 100% is today and we can get ourselves to that 100% today and we're doing that every single day, we're gonna make progress every single day. Oh, hey, hey guys, welcome to the show. Oh wait, roll the trailer, roll that cool trailer we made. Wait, roll that. Everybody wants this shortcut. What's the best workout? What's the secret? The secret is asking yourself, how far are you willing to go? How honest are you willing to get? How hard are you willing to push yourself? Those answers are only within you. Only you can answer them. So stop waiting, dive in, let's go. We're doing a bit, done with the limits, removing the lid. I don't mind answering questions, but that's on the surface. I'd rather have freedom of swim. Let me teach you the fish, the powers within. Now you can win and repeat it again Starting to see I believe in you kid If you ask me again I'ma tell you it's deeper than scared Anyone know what this is? Anybody in the back? No, yeah. Infinity, limitless. Let's do this, make it fun. Oh, I should have done this. Lim I made it extended. Limitless. That doesn't look, it kind of looks like a face. Oh God. Let's, let's not do that. Oh Jesus. Let's not do that. Ow. What is happening? Start again. Limitless, okay? That's it, all we're doing. So, I had my highest jumping day ever. It's not measured, but here's the thing. Wait for that freaking truck. Who's doing that? Yo, so this past session was possibly my highest jumping ever. I say possibly because I felt it, but I didn't actually measure it. Now I wanna ask you this, who's doing that after 10 years, okay? Who's doing that? How many people have you seen? Come and go, come and go, come and plateau, come and plateau. Not you, maybe you, I have, but I don't want you to plateau. That's why we're living limitless. We gotta remove the limits, okay? But that's the point of this. And from my 10 years of experience, this is what I've learned. And I want you guys to not fall in my same traps. That being said, let's talk about last session. I felt like I was jumping some of my highest. I wasn't even on the freshest body, which is what I'm gonna talk about today to make building the foundation, not trying to save your progress for a great day, not wasting gains, all these different things, not overtraining, all of those things today. That being said, best backboard of my life. I think best, best, best backboard of my life. I would have loved it to like be a yam yam where it shoots down, but I mean the extendo, that extendo, that I don't know if my, my shoulder can even do that without going for the ball, it's just like a mental thing. But that extendo right there, best backboard of my life, most likely. Legs thick, but feeling really bouncy. They don't feel like I want to run through a wall. I didn't walk in here wanting to run through a wall, but I feel super powerful my first couple of jumps. Super up there. I just have to focus on technique and my adrenaline is building, so I have to stick with that technique so that way I don't carve wrong patterns. It's really important in this stage for me that I don't overdo it, go too fast, stick with the patterns. That's why you see me doing smaller jumps, even though I'm ready to go hard, wait for my body to catch up. Nuts. 
be jumping out here. That's where we're going. Remove the ceilings. You gotta remove the ceilings. My boy's getting up now. Yeah, so we're gonna go way deeper than skin today. Anywho, one of my distance dunks, I felt like I jumped higher than I ever have. And previous sessions, I was hitting my head on the backboard super effortlessly. And now what I'm most excited for is jumping this high with a totally different foundation, which is what I want you guys to build. So this is how I train every single day. This is how I make endless progress. And it's a process. It's a process. It requires patience. It requires clarity. It requires awareness. So all of these things are going to play a factor. Let's jump. So you're always expressing your limits. You're always building clarity on your limits. So what I mean by that is that's clarity. Terrible marker. Of course, I choose the wrong one. Let's kind of I love how the word clarity is very unclear. Huh? OK, I'm going to try to keep this very simple. If you hear any piece you want me to dive deeper on, I would love to. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of branches that I've learned in both of these categories. When it comes to training, I'm gonna give you the high level general overview so you can get started today. But any branch that you wanna dive into, I have a lot of experience and this is what it's come back to. It's kinda of like a cliche statement and like life is great, but then if, until you have really hard times and you go deep into the friggin' subconscious of your brain and you realize, okay, life is good. And then you're like, oh, that has a different meaning now. That's what this is. <laughs> By the way, every like, every share, every subscribe, especially the shares, amplifies the energy because if you feel something give me a little something back share it if it's boosting you up give it to somebody else Ooh, we all boosted each other we grow together like mushrooms what i'm gonna keep this strictly focused on jumping but this can be applied to anything training and not training so max energy this is your limits we are either expressing our limits or building clarity on our limits and when it comes to jump training we want max energy we want to exceed our limits we want to jump higher but the thing that happens when we plateau is that we've maxed out our max energy We're, we don't have enough energy maybe we don't have enough strength maybe we keep not stimulating our bodies in the correct ways because our body gets too good at what we're doing but early on we start jumping we start lifting a few weights maybe we feel sore some days and then all of a sudden we respond and we grow because we were in that easy cycle without as many complexities that's why I'm bringing you a big complex concept for you to start working on so you can start building this foundation and not stop when the plateau happens you start building clarity instead now a couple keys with this is you're always doing one or the other and it'll get clear as we go but you're also always intertwining the two as well so let's go so when you wake up the first thing I want you to do is notice how you feel notice your energy for the day for me today the reason I made this video is because I feel amazing my energy's high I feel like I want to attack I feel like I want to express my mood is high that's a really big sign I want to express max energy okay but now when I get to the gym I still have to be focused aware and in the moment of saying how do I feel today is my body a little tweaked from yesterday because I'm working out every day we're not just taking a week off over here to get max energy we're just building baby steps into a max energy day so look when I walk into the gym and I go through my warm-up, how am I feeling? Am I noticing that I'm performing really great from the start? Or am I noticing that my warm-up is taking longer than usual and I feel stiff? All these things are building awareness as you're warming up. So now, so an overall theme for every single day of your life is do your best. And there's two parts to that. That is the 100%, the two sides of doing 100%. What is the 100%? Can you get yourself there? Can you push yourself to 100 today? And what is it? That's the clarity. So while we're expressing it in our workouts, we can say to ourselves, are we giving max energy for what we have today? Every day's 100 is different. The days we exceed our limits are going to be the days where everything is on fire. Your body's ready, you're fresh, you're mentally there, you've put in the work, and now your energy matches the time you're, tr you're at the gym expressing yourself to jump higher. That's when you exceed limits. But on other days, 
we aren't feeling that great, but that doesn't mean we don't give it 100%. That just might mean our expression of 100% is a lot different than max jumping or exceeding our limits. So what is that? So when our energy is maxed, that's when we exceed, boom, exceed limits. When it's a little lower, push our limits, okay? And this is leading us to max energy. This is not really a cycle, but it is kind of a cycle. But here's the thing also, side note, this is for my maniacs. This is for the people that understand that they wanna go, they wanna go, they wanna go, but they have to rest and they have to build a foundation. If you're having trouble just getting motivated, you should move every single day. If your 100 is low and you're not even in shape and you don't even know where to start, just push yourself every single day. When you get to the gym, say, what's my best today? Am I doing that? So the point is building awareness on this, doing your best in this 100% is gonna be the biggest key. If we can get clear on what our 100% is today and we can get ourselves to that 100% today and we're doing that every single day, we're gonna make progress every single day. The obstacle comes in when we don't push ourselves, that's when we plateau, we don't give it 100 so we're not stimulating anything and we're just staying put or we don't know what 100 is and we do too much and we overtrain. So that's why this is so powerful. So what it is with clarity and expressing is while you're expressing, while you're working out, stay aware to understand, am I pushing myself 100? Keep the do your best as your mantra, as your intention. Be like, am I doing my best right now? Am I pushing myself? And a lot of times you'll illuminate thoughts. Like for me, I'll be like, I'm being impatient because I know my body needs to rest. I feel this tweak. I know I'm hesitating off this plant because I'm hurting. Or I'm feeling lazy. All these, I don't have that, but. <laughs> or what I've done in the past is I'm not pushing 100% because I'm not jumping that great and I wanna save my energy for another day to exceed my limits. But we can't exceed them every day, but we can do our best every day. And that is a huge difference because, because when we try to save our energy, we're not making a step. Think of every single day as a step in your foundation and progress, okay? And so I'm on the side where I used to overtrain too much. By building clarity, I understand my mind better to make sure I'm hitting that 100 every day. So now let's get into some tangible things to help illuminate that clarity and get clear on what that 100 is for the day. I have a whole course on this called the Limitless Foundations, Endless, Endless Energy, I keep renaming it, but the point is, it's the energy foundations of your life. Sleep, nutrition, and movement. And a lot of the movement is about the expression part of this category, but what it is is if you sleep right, you eat right, and you did what 100 yesterday, now your next day going forward, you're gonna be very clear. It's like, okay, I feel great, I ate great, my body feels great, my mentality is focused and motivated, I feel great, I know what my 100 is today. But then, even though you have clarity on it, when you go to the gym, you still say to yourself, I'm gonna do my best. Every day I'm gonna do my best so that way you don't have any expectations. And the reason you don't want expectations when you're in the gym is because you wanna just, you want to push the limits gradually because you don't know if this is the day to exceed the limits. You can't choose a day to exceed limits, but what you can do is choose a day to push the limits. So you push the limits every day and if you effortlessly exceed your limits, that is golden. That's the jump day I had the other day. I was not the best, I was just having fun feeling great and all of a sudden I'm pushing, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try a little harder. I'm gonna push a little harder. See where my hundred's at, see where my hundred's at. And all of a sudden I'm freaking flying, okay? That's how you do it because then every single day you're making progress. But if you go in there with expectations, then you're like, I'm supposed to exceed my limits today. You're gonna push as hard as you possibly can. You're gonna go past the hundred and overtrain, And that's not gonna be helpful. This is a process. You don't understand how to push yourself to 100 with the fears and the doubts and you worry, am I gonna get too big? Am I gonna overdo it? That's one fear you have to get over. And then getting clear in what is my 100, getting, getting better at the art of saying, ooh, this is exactly what my body needs. That takes time of doing this every single day. That's why there's so many branches. So if you're sleeping right, eating right, when you're building this clarity and you say, wait a second, and you had a terrible sleep, you're gonna say, oh, I feel terrible today. Well, is it the sleep or is it your workout? Is it because you're so sore from your workout or is it because you barely slept? So there's lots of ways to eliminate variables, but as you eliminate the variables and as you push yourself day in and day out and you learn and you build this clarity and you build clarity as you're expressing and you express yourself to build clarity, these two things are going to build awareness. And the more awareness you have, the better you can hit those marks every single day. So I hope that helps. So like I said before, it comes back to a cliche, do your best. That's all you gotta do, do your best. But when you try to actually do your best, ask yourself, did I give 100 today? Or did I leave some on the table? And better yet, did I do the wrong thing? Did I do too much? 
what is my hundred? What does my body need? And the more you listen to your body, the more you're going to notice different things. And the, what I want you to notice is your day to day. Do you wake up some days like this when your energy's through the roof or are you waking up most days super low? And if you're waking up super low, what does it feel like? Are you feeling like lazy or you maybe still express? Every single day you should still move even if you're feeling low energy because a lot of times we need to express that to allow our bodies to recover even faster. But our expression for the day is not max energy. It's just low energy and that's fine. That's good. That's going to help you recover even faster. But if you're clear on that, you clear you went hard, you slept well, you ate well, you know your body needs love, it needs movement, it needs blood flow. So that's your expression for the day. That's your max for the day. It doesn't mean you're exceeding your limits that day, but maybe you are building to exceed your limits tangibly and jumping higher because you exceeded your limits of what you used to be able to do. Maybe your recovery days are now what your workouts used to be. So in a sense, it is exceeding your limits. I have such big plans for YouTube, building a whole limitless media company. It's been a lot of fun. I love making videos. If you've watched any one of my videos, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you stick around for more bigger, better ideas coming to life and I hope you literally enjoy your life on a higher frequency. I, I love you. Take it for a ride. Hey, when I'm with you, baby, got me feeling elevated. I could fly. Now my life's begun. You make me feel like I'm the sun. I want to shine. There ain't nothing better, baby. I want this forever. I could die. I feel it. Got it coming soon, baby. And yeah, my life with you's a movie. Got it coming soon, baby. It's you and me together, baby. Life is like a movie. Hey, real quick. Listen to the rap at the beginning. And now it'll have more meaning to you. It's deeper than skin. I want to teach you to fit. You get it.